Hey everybody, today uh, is going to be different. I've got an update uh, and um, I will be showing you a video about, uh, or I will be showing you a script today about uh, setting nested families to shared. But before I get into that, and if you want to skip this, just go ahead like a, a couple minutes and then we'll get into the script. But also you can find the script below in the description. But before I get into that, um, a few updates. I have a new recorder. I'm using OBS so far. I really like it um, a ton in comparison to Camtasia, which is what I used before. Um, I'm in between jobs right now. I'm taking a bit of a vacation before I start the new one. And so um, I don't have Camtasia anymore and I don't want to pay for it. So I'm using OBS, which is totally, totally free. And, um, and I love it a lot. So if you haven't seen it before, check it out. It's a pretty good pretty good tool um, and then uh, you can see down there there's a capture of me but there's also a banner and then there's a discord link uh, check out that discord link if you want to uh, join the uh, chat talk about BIM and data and whatever kind of AEC stuff you like uh, there's a few different channels um, one that um, would be helpful for me but you know what I think would be um, if there's certain topics that, that may help help you out, um, you know, check this channel out. This is the YouTube video ideas. Feel free to post them. I just added this yesterday, um, so feel free to add any um, any new ideas that you have. Um, there's a few other channels on here too. The Forge API one's kind of active. Um, you know, so check this out. It's not a huge community, but if you want to talk and chat or just um, ask me questions, you know, feel free to do it. There's a lot of awesome people in here that know a lot of stuff as well. So, um, you know, post your questions in there and, and whatnot. So, anyways, um, that's kind of the update. I'm using a new recorder. Check out the Discord channel. I'll be trying to do two videos a week. Um, Sometimes I'll hit that, sometimes I won't. The format for this is always to be fun, you know. I do this, you know, when I find something cool at my at my job or at home. And I, the idea is I just want to share it with you guys so that you uh, can take it, uh, learn from it, or take it and use it immediately, whatever you want. It's all up to you. So that's the format. It's just informal and just fun. You know, there's no... There's no, um, I guess, I don't want to be too professional with, with this YouTube channel. So, you know, feel free to, to comment, like, um, you know, ask your questions or whatnot. And just take this stuff and use it however way you want. So anyways, to get into it, we've got a Revit uh, 2022 open. And it's a trial version. You can see up here the 26 days I have left. Since I don't have a job right now and I'm just on vacation until I start the new one, I'm gonna ha I had to get a trial because for some reason um, there's uh, no free version. Uh, there's a free version for developers and which you have to jump through a bunch of hoops just to get. But there's no free version for just people. Uh, unless you're going to school, then you get like a free version for uh, what is it like two three years or so um but if you're just a person trying to make cool videos and share it with people there's no free so it's a bummer um i wish they were more open source but it is what it is so i'm gonna get into it and we'll look at the um uh the dynamo script but before i do that what we're gonna do is just look at this host family so um the Dynamo script is going to go into this family and set the nested family to shared. And so, this is the family I created. It's just a crappy little table. Um, and then, inside of that, inside of this family, because the host family itself is empty. Inside of that is a nested family, which is essentially the table. Um, now, before I go in there and show you that, I just want to describe, like, the difference or the difference between not shared and shared like right now it's not shared so the the geometry that we we see right now is just reflected as that in the project uh, it ignores the project kind of ignores it and looks at, at at it as just geometry and so we can't if there was tables in there or like uh, not tables if there was other chairs in there we couldn't tag it or really interact with it or even schedule it we can schedule this family as a whole but the as all the nested elements inside of it would be ignored now as soon as you set it to shared and you know as an example you may have a conference table 
with 10 chairs on it. If you set those chairs to shared, you can now tag those chairs, you can schedule those chairs and so on. So that's the idea behind this. Now, this script is a part of a bigger workflow, but I think you can take this script um, and use it, especially if there's a case where you have a whole bunch of families and you wanna set them all to shared. So, um, and you know, again, this is a part of a bigger workflow. So um, I'll share like other scripts in the future uh, that go along with this one, but um, this is just one part and you can take it and kind of uh, run with it. Um, so this is the, the family, if we go to edit, uh, and you can see here, this is our nested family here. It's called nested family. And if we go to edit family, you can see down here that it's uh, not set to shared. So I'll exit out of that. We'll close that. Now, um, another good way to just know real quick is like we know inside there it's called nested family. And then it's also a generic model. So you can see here that we have host family, but we do not have the nested family in our project. Um, and so when we do uh, run this Dynamo script, we will see nested family uh, pop up in there. So I'm gonna switch screens real quick. And now uh, if we look here, we've got this script. It's really, really basic. So I'll walk through this. Um, uh, but you know, for the most part, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna run this script and what it's gonna do is go in and just load the family. Um, so you can see there that it, it sets it to shared, it loads the family at the end. Uh, but to explain a couple things, I just wanna point out a few few things is here I'm specifying this, you know, a, a, a family, um, you know, by name. And so if you're needing to, to go through a whole bunch of different families, maybe filter through a bunch, uh, it's easy if you're just looking at maybe an entire folder, but if you're look, trying to filter through a project and find, you know, certain ones, you may, uh, this may not be a good workflow. I mean, you potentially could grab all families. Uh, so let's, as an example, uh, you know, you could grab all families and then you could uh, find out if they were shared or not shared or their nested families were shared or not shared. Uh, and then, you know, do something based off of that. But anyways, in this example, I'm just grabbing this. So you can get creative in the way that you grab your family. So you, you'll have to change this depending on how you're going to use this. Um, and so we're using Orchid. So that's the only package here. And then, um, which is, a, it's, that is such a good pack, package. I recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Um, and then... We're just gonna do a family edit, which now we're gonna edit that family in the background. And then we're going to get all the nested elements. Now, this is something else I wanted to point out, was that when you edit a, so in this case, I had a host family that had certain things in it already. I loaded in the nested family, came in, in at index four. I noticed that being the case for a lot of different examples, uh, or a lot of different other uh, families that I've been working with. And so in this case, I was able to just get the last item. And in most cases, that, that's what works. And the, and the bigger like process that I was talking about earlier, this works because it's manufactured. The family that we load in, or the Nessa family, is always the last thing. Um, and But this may not work for you. So you may need to change this um, depending on how the families were developed uh, and what exactly you're trying to turned into a shared family. So just wanted to point that out. Um, and then from there, it's pretty basic. So we've got the nested family as an, an element and we can pass in this, simply set it to true. And then we just load in the uh, family uh, document that we we're editing in the background. Uh, so now if we switch back to Revit, and then over here, you can see we've got our host family, and now we have our nested family. Um, and if we edit that, that would be shared. So, you know, we can go in here and see the types. If we edit, edit again, and then down here, you can see that it's set to shared. So now we can tag that table if there was chairs in there or other things. Um, we could tag it and schedule it. So. Anyways, that's what I had to, to show you. Feel free to download that uh, below. 
Also, again, check out the Discord channel. Uh, you'll find a link in the description, also the link in the banner. Uh, and then feel free to just join the chat and talk about, you know, anything AEC. Uh, but anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you like this new, um, new setup. Let me know if you have any questions about it or, or, uh, any other ideas for it. Um, and then, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.